having succulents like this that have elongated and etiolated are very common problems, especially for new succulent growers. We happily go to a nursery or a garden um, and then we buy the succulents and we bring it home, let them sit cozily in our um, maybe indoors or maybe in our balcony where they do not get an, as much sun as they are used to in the nursery and then we find them like this very much leggy so you can see big diff oops sorry you can see the difference between the top which is still very compact the leaves are still very close to each other versus what happens in the stems the leaves are further apart you could see the difference or the the space in here so this is when we say that they have elongated or they turned leggy very very common now how do we actually prevent this from happening and how do we save them and how do we keep them compact as they say prevention is always better than cure so before dwelling on how to save a leggy succulent let us talk first on how to actually prevent that from happening and the number one way to do that is to know the sun requirement of your succulents. So for us, it could be researching about them and reading through the different varieties of succulents and learning how much sun they need. For some of us, it could be trial and error. You put them into this spot and if you think they're slowly turning pale in color, leaning towards greenish and getting a bit leggy then it's time for you to actually expose them more now for this type of succulents that we have here they turned leggy because of various reasons um, as some of you may know we actually moved home very recently and while we we're in the process of moving home we have to put them in a certain area as we move stuff and because of that um, they did not get enough sun as we wanted and um, some of them actually this is the one that I have a lot of this because I bought quite a few of this type the Tito buns however I wasn't really aware of their sun requirement I put them somewhere they're having sun but not as much as they wanted so I discovered that oh it actually wanted more sun so I actually um, changed their location um, which has more sun exposure therefore this part is still very compact but then this part has already started getting leggy and um, they're healthy but a bit unsightly because they're really pretty as a compact um, type of plant now this one is another uh, a very clear indication that they're leggy is the space plus it's leaning apart from being a heavy plant it's also some succulents are also leaning because they're trying to reach um, or lean towards the source of light and this is actually what happens to them then it leaned towards the sun then it got heavy and then now it's growing like that almost horizontally um, now here is the situation they can never shrink back to how they used to. They will never return to being compact, no matter how much sun exposure you give them. What has elongated has already elongated. We could never put them back. Um, you could either keep them this way um, because they're still healthy succulents, or what I would usually do is to behead them and hit two birds in one stone, wherein I am also propagating okay so let's start i'm gonna start with this first one so i'd always look at the part that is still compact and i'm gonna cut just a little below that just right here oops i should have gotten the bigger scissors so now i have the crown or the head and i have here where um 
the stem basically so what i would usually do is to remove some of this again this is now a combination of saving your succulent from el elongation and also propagation so now i will let the scallus part dry you have the option to put rooting powder or cinnamon powder and then once it has healed and callus i'm going to put it in soil dry soil and then wait for it to actually have roots now that is my plan i know now the sun requirement and i have moved home so i'm more than afraid to put them in a spot where they can get enough sun once they are established i'm gonna put this aside now i have all these leaves for propagation i'm also gonna remove some here i'm just gonna leave just a few I always like to leave a few leaves whenever I'm beheading or doing a head chop because the leaves are always the one who makes food for the plants. Therefore, I want to keep some to help give nutrients to this one. All right, I'm gonna cut them. Again, this is an open wound, so I'll wait for it to callus or I could put cinnamon powder or um, any antifungal as well. Now I will keep this aside and hopefully when the babies grow here, they'll grow more compact. And also, now that I know there's some requirement, I will place it in a spot where it will get those amount of sun exposure and they will not elongate anymore. All right. I just want to stop before I cut this off because I just want to highlight the fact that this has a baby in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just above this baby just so to give this baby here a chance to leave because it's just so attached to the stem. And also I want to ask you guys if you know the name of this one please let me know. I don't know what this is called um, I'm very bad with succulents that are mostly green <laughs> so yeah speaking of color um, I forgot to mention but another very clear indication that it is actually asking for more Sun is it has changed its color to mostly green so this for example is starburst or I think it's called Francisco Baldi in some areas they could turn really colorful, really pinkish or even yellowish, but now it has turned to just green and that just means that it's not getting, you know, the, the sun exposure that it wanted. All right, so let me cut this and then again, if you know what this is, let me know. I have here the heads of the succulents that are still compact. I'm gonna let them callus and then once they have done so, we're gonna plant them in their own pots and wait for them to have their own roots and become fresh new plants. Then I have here all the leaves for propagation, the titubans, the starburst, and also the green one, which I do not know the name. And I'll wait for you to, guys to tell me what this is. And then all those that we have previously cut, I'm just gonna put them in a safe spot until all the cuts have callus as well. Um, and then hopefully this part here will grow babies. All right, that is all for now. I hope that we were able to share with you some tips <laughs> on how to take care of leggy succulents and at the same time do propagation with them and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave us a message or a comment sorry and um that's all for now thanks bye